Okay, so once we've shot your pictures for your favorite things painting, the next thing you need to do is prepare them for printing. And what that's going to entail is making sure that you have a good enough contrast and that you've cropped the image as you need to uh, crop it to create a, a good composition. Does that make sense? So, first thing you can do is open up Photoshop. That's pretty simple. You go to the Start menu, Programs in OB. If you need help with that, let me know. Once it's open, you're going to go File. Go to Open. Now, odds are you're going to get a um, screen similar to this. What you're going to do from here is you're going to want to go to My Computer, go to the iDrive, and then you're going to the Students folder. In the Students folder, as you know, you're going to have these different options. You are looking for sample files. You go to Art, then you go to Painting 1. Painting 1, you'll notice that you have folders, we're looking at the favorite things folder, you can see all these pictures. Instead of clicking and trying to figure out which one is yours, the easiest thing to do is come on up here, look at large icons, and now you can see actual previews. Cool? Pretty simple stuff. Find yours, and you can open all of yours if you want, you know, however many you want, or you can actually copy them and put them into your network, your network drive. Whatever you want to do. Eventually, you are going to save them to your network drive. All right? So I'm just going to grab uh, one of the first ones I see here. So I'm going to grab this one, double click, and it opens it up. Now, one of the beautiful things about Photoshop is that you can do just about anything you want to this image. All right? You can start to make a lot of decisions about composition. When I shot this picture, I didn't shoot the ideal composition. You set up your objects, you looked at lighting, I took a few pictures, showed them to you. Now you have to make some decisions to make this artwork more your own, right? If you just recreate the picture I took, you're recreating my picture of me, right? So I have to start to crop it a little bit more. I own part of this picture. I want you to own me a little bit. Does that make sense? So, first thing to do, okay, is play with the crop. Very simply, come over here. This little object right over here, hover over it, it says Crop Tool. Click on it. Okay? You'll notice this little, uh, this little shape. If you hit Caps Lock, it'll turn into a crosshair. Me, personally, I like working with the crosshair. It's easier to see. What you do is you click and drag, and it's going to create this little square. Notice how it blackens out the things around it. That's what's going to be going away. So my composition is right here. Yours may look a little bit grayer. Maybe may look more transparent like that. Notice how I change the opacity. That's basically where you can make it darker or lighter. It's up to you. Okay. So I'm playing with the composition. I can decide if I want more or less anywhere specifically. Right? Yes? Good? Pretty simple. Okay. I can crop in a little bit, but one thing you have to think about is you want to keep it a fairly standard rectangle, so don't go too panoramic, don't go too square, because your final canvas is going to be rectangular. So be careful about that. Also, when I look at this right here, don't worry about that. Eventually, that's not going to be part of the paint. You're not going to paint the actual box. You're painting the objects and the cashews. Okay, so once you've got a composition that you like, you check, confirm the change, and that's pretty much done. Now, over here in your layers palette, you come down here, you look at this little yin yang looking like thing. Click on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to uh, levels. Okay. With levels, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to play with either the highlights, the midtones, or the shadows. Right? I'm going to start with the midtones by sliding. And you'll see what happens. It starts to lighten as I get towards the dark values. Okay. Bring this over. It starts to maybe darken a couple of those values there. Bring this over just so that way I get good contrast so I can see what I need to see in my final image. Does that make sense? Once I'm happy with what I, with what I see, I click OK. And then notice how it creates this other level. That's so that way when this little layer, that's so you can see what it looks like with or without. Okay? I like that. Layer. Flatten image. Okay. The reason why you flatten is so you can save it as a JPEG. Hit Compile, Save As. From here, you have to find your drive. So that's pretty easy. Click on My Computer, and your drive should be the first one that you see here. Okay? Then you find a folder, throw it in there. Give it a good title, maybe Favorite Things, whatever you want to title it. Click 
I say, of course, we do, we do. Okay, eventually I'm going to show you how you can actually print this off. 